Little Indian Sioux Falls North, Boundary Waters, up around Ely, Minnesota. And, uh, and this is the start of it, October 1st, 33 degrees and uh, cold, very cold. Stuff right over there. This is it. We're ready to go. So we're just taking off, <clears throat> starting up the Little Indian Sioux River, and uh, just got started. Passing guys back there while we go. That's where we put in it. And. This is one of our first portages around the Little Indian Sioux River. And uh, going back to get some more stuff. Okay, Paul and I just left our portage, first one. And to the left, that's what you see, a little, nice little waterfall. Come in from over here. And we're continuing down Little Indian Sea. It's cold. October 1st, and it was 33 degrees this morning. There's Paula, got her hands full, so they have a nice little walkway right here, it's part of the trail. I'm sure it's because it's so muddy at one time. Devil's Cascade. So it's our first night on the BWCA and we're up here at the Devil's Cascade off the Little Indian Sioux Falls and let's take a look at it. We're actually in the middle of the uh, portage, it's where they've got a camp area. So we were checking out the privy a while ago, and anyway, after we kind of left from there to see what it looked like, back over there, uh, just walked through, and I was walking one down the trail to go back and get the canoe, and Paula was starting to walk back to camp, and next thing you know, I heard a big crash crash into the woods, and uh, yeah, I thought it was about an 8,000 pound bull elk headed our way, crashing through the woods. I mean, it was huge. Anyway, it wasn't a bull elk, it was a tree falling right across the trail from where the purity was. And it just, we were just there like, I mean, 10, 15 seconds before that. So unbelievable. So this is my smokehouse. And uh, we we'll staying in it. We've still got to put the wood burning stove in it. Brought the seek outside. Built me a little floor. Just a cheap Walmart tarp and put me a little zipper in it. 
right here to fold the thing back so I can put the stove in. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stay warm tonight. But uh, this is it. Beautiful place. Uh, it's gonna be nice. Well, here we are, our first night at camp, and we're at Devil's Cascade Falls. Mike previously showed you the falls, it's fantastic. He's cutting wood up. We've got the supper cooking over there, getting ready for some hot chocolate coffee and soup. And Mike's just sawing wood for the smokehouse. Burn your canoe, smokehouse is up, stove is in. We are all on wood. Yeah, it's dark. There's the sky. No. Mike over there. I'm having cheddar broccoli. Cheddar potato soup. Hot chocolate and coffee. We're ready. All right, we got everything settled, I think. We're in the smokehouse. Got the wood burning stove going. This is a Seek Outside large stove. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Fire going. Kind of moderate in it. And, uh, We are wore out. I'm gonna to try to, usually I put a hammock in this thing, but uh, we got some air mats and we're gonna lay on the ground this time. But uh, got the uh, food barrel strapped to a tree out there. And I uh, put some ammonia around it to try to deter them from uh, hopefully getting in it. So we'll see how that works. But uh, fixing to hit the sack and uh, see y'all in the morning. So it's Wednesday, we're out here on uh, Lower Pontus Lake, had some trouble carrying the canoe, I had a, I put a pad on there that uh, didn't work well, so I'm going to have to replace it with a different pad. So anyway, we're inside, and uh, pouring down rain all morning, got the wood burning stove going. Everything's fogging up. Camera's fogging up again. 
campfire going. Pretty chilly outside. And uh, anyway. Thundering outside, been raining all day long. Got the wood burning stove going. Man, if it wasn't for that, it'd be cold and wet, nasty. It's still cold and wet, nasty outside, but at least inside here it's warmer and drier. Thundering outside. Having a good time, man. Found your waters. It's part of it. Finally quit raining. <clears throat> it's been raining all day long. Hard. Not light, but hard. So I'm finally able to kind of get out. I didn't feel like getting out in the rain with a rain suit or anything. And so back over here is the devil, where the Devil's Cascade portage is. And then there's another portage comes into this lake right over here. So this is where we've been for the last two days. Had the wood burning stove going all day long. Camp. And this is it. Boundary waters. After been raining all day long. God dog, wind came up and it is, we had to pull the stove out, it was blowing so hard and next thing you know it started pulling all the stakes up, 80 mile an hour, I don't know how fast the winds are, all I know is it started blowing everything away, pulled all the stakes up out of the tent, had to restake everything down, I ran out there to check on a canoe, unbelievable, 
We're holding the tent back right now. Help! Trying to keep it from blowing away. Yeah. Wasn't expecting this. This tent ain't made for 100 mile an hour winds. Anyway, we're surviving it somehow. Hey, God. God is great. Unbelievable. It's actually died down just quite a bit. It's not near as bad as it was long ago. I'm having to hold the roof back just a little bit because it's blowing in from the lake. Crazy. So we decided to come out here to Lake Washita. We had some problems with uh, when we went out to Minnesota. Uh, we had the problems with I carried too much weight for one. We was planning on going for 11 days, and uh, that didn't happen. So we had to cut the, short, the trip short. Uh, the uh, then we had a big storm, the north eastern storm, come up. Big cold front come in and 80 mile an hour winds and tore my smokehouse a little bit at the bottom, had a little bit of rip in it, and uh, we had to end up laying it flat on the ground because the wind was so strong. And uh, anyway, we ended up cutting the trip short, and I still didn't have enough of the canoeing, so we decided to come out to Lake Washita on the islands out here in Arkansas, and this is kind of what it looks like. So we're kind of canoeing from island to island out here, and uh, the only difference is, it's kind of bigger water, but uh, we don't have to portage any. It's it's all from island to island. So this is this is some of the stuff that we're doing here. Canoes up. We can carry a little bit more stuff, but we're not. I mean, it's just we're carrying some bigger chairs instead of what we normally do. Paul is over here checking out the other islands with the binoculars. But uh, let's get over here in the shade. So this is uh, Lake Washita on some of the islands over here. Yeah, we went over to that one earlier and we really liked it. We'll probably go tomorrow about a couple of miles down the lake and, and grab another island and go from there. But uh, yeah, this is it. 